In your 7600X versus 5800X 3D video, you showed that the older Zen 3 part was bottlenecking the RTX 4090. That being the case, what level of GPU would you pair with the 5800X 3D for that sweet spot bounce? Would we see the same bottleneck results with a 3090 slash TI or 69, you know, 50XT, 6900XT? It's not that I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to start off on the wrong foot here. It's not that I don't like this question. It's just that, this question you cannot answer correctly. Like there's no, there's no yep, very single. Difficult. Well, and let me tell you why. It's because basically gamers play games, well, they play different types of games. Some of them play Assassin's Creed and some of them play Fortnite, <laughs> which so they, some, some use low quality settings and some use ultra quality settings or, or tuned yeah. high quality settings. So basically... The games you play make a big difference. How you play those games, you know, resolution, quality settings, all of that can lead to very different answers. So if you're playing Fortnite with RT lumens and all the, the visual eye candy turned up, then a 4090 at 4K, uh, you're looking at like 60 FPS with that game maxed out. So a 5800X 3D can certainly throughput 60 fps just fine in fortnite no dramas at all it'll do a couple of hundred frames per second so you're definitely not bottlenecked under those conditions but if you're to play fortnite with basically everything mind like so post-processing off extra effects off all rt stuff off draw distance epic and that's about it maybe epic textures as well because that doesn't really affect competitive uh competitive stuff you'll be getting three four up to 500 fps with uh an rtx 4090 without a cpu limit 5800x 3d may limit you there to about 250 maybe 300 fps so you are being cpu limited in that scenario so as you can sort of see the answer depends uh very much on the type of games type of game all those kind of things so if you're playing your cyberpunks, let, let's say without RT, because RT obviously hammers the frame rate right down, can, Im, can increase uh, CPU requirements, but it gets even more complicated there. But let's just say cyberpunk on, on high to ultra, Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, all those sort of things. Really a 5800X 3D is going to be okay with a 4090 at 4K. 1440p, you will want a faster CPU if you're wanting faster, higher frame rates. Like um, I think there was an example earlier given of F1, F122, like how many frames do you need in F122 to enjoy it, even in a competitive setting? I'm sure 144 is fine. You're not doing flick shots. Yeah. You're not you're not peaking your opponent. You just drive not don't, don't, don't want to sound like it's simple, it's very difficult, but you're driving a car on a track. I don't think that requires more than 200 FPS. So again, people sort of hear CPU bottlenecking and think that's a horrible thing. It doesn't if you if you mostly play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk, and you're aiming for around you know, whatever you can get, 100 frames a second or whatever, and then you are limited in F1 22 at 250 frames a second. That doesn't mean you need a new CPU, just means that particular game, it's mostly CPU limited. That's the nature of the game. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of reason, especially if you can afford to do so, to sort of be looking at the 4090 and going, ah, I'm going to be CPU bottlenecked a lot of the time, may as well drop down a tier, because it's so hard to even determine what situations you're going to run into that bottleneck you may be playing Fortnite, knowing that you're going to be cpu bottlenecked but then future game comes out you're really interested in that for you know maybe multiplayer maybe single player and suddenly you're not cpu bottlenecked on your 4090 and then if you're limiting yourself and sort of going oh i'm just going to drop down a tier or drop down two tiers because i don't think my cpu is good enough you may find that you're going to be gpu bottlenecked in some situations that that's kind of the the difficulties you were saying between all these different scenarios. Yeah, and I think it only. I think the best answer is that this this CPU GPU bottlenecking thing. Generally speaking, only becomes an issue when we're talking about a really massive imbalance of those two components. Yeah. So take like a, a a Zen two part or something like that, and putting it with a forty ninety. Probably not a good idea. You'd want at least a Zen three part. Ideally, it'd want to be a three D V cache part, which limits you to one CPU. Uh, because the 4090 is just so brutally fast. And realistically, if you're not using it at 4K Ultra, you are going to run into CPU bottlenecks. But yeah, I think I think within reason, like a 5800X 3D is probably fine. Anything a lot slower than that, 
you probably don't want to put a $1,600 GPU with it, let's be honest. Yeah. Anyone with like, you know, a Ryzen 5 2600 probably didn't spend $1,600 on their entire computer. So the conversation becomes a bit redundant at that point, a bit, a yep. bit silly. So that that's, yep. I think, I think that's my take anyway.